did a trip to the flea market today. So let's go over a couple things I found today and what he found as well. So we have an egg tray here, um, purchased for a dollar. And this is actually worth 40 bucks. Um, so these little ramekins, I know, you know, they're a dime a dozen, but I got eight of them for 25 cents, which is actually uh, retailed at $35. Um, for each or for the set? For the set. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so, the little uh, pastry shell <clears throat> pan. This is at 35 and I got this for 25 cents. I got this for a dollar, and this is about 40 bucks. And this one I got for a quarter. Um, but it has to be appraised because I'm seeing varying um, prices up to, like, 135 bucks. Is this part of that? Um, or is it two different things they look different. alike? Cool. Yep. And um, oh, this is the one. these blenders, a uh, handheld blender. Um, this is an old vintage one, and this is actually like 30 bucks as well. And I got this for a buck. I got the cake stand for a dollar. And this is actually rebalanced uh, at 25 Um, Just because we don't have the dome piece, but being separate, I can get 25 uh, retail on that. And these guys, I'm still looking for these. Uh, I cannot find them anywhere. So if anyone has a clue on what these are, and if they're jewelry or if they're butter holders, I don't know, but I can't find them anywhere to do a search on it. So give me a heads up if you, if you guys know what these are and how much they are. That's about it. Okay. All right. All right, so here we go. You guys are going to poop your pants. All right, so antique drill. Antique drill. When you see what both of these drills, who makes these, where these came from, I crap my pants on that one, and then I grab this one. Now, mind you, I got a set of Wish shears. Can you see that right there in my shear collection? I got a small monkey wrench to go with the other three I have. This is the smaller one. I got this sledgehammer head right here. These are all from different booths, and then I'll tell you how much I actually paid for everything. Uh, one of these hammer heads that, um, you know, nobody likes. It's pretty whomped on, mushroomed out, but, I mean, you know, I got some scissors. These are called Metropolitans. I found a Maker's Mark made in Italy. These, I don't know. I can't find a name, but I left this. I'll take that off when I clean these up, but I thought these scissors were kind of cool. Uh, this hammer right here. All right, so let's go over. So I got, I paid five for this. This might have been a little pricey, but I paid five for this because of the set. Um, the shears, the hammerhead, and these two pairs of scissors right there was six dollars. Then this was a dollar. These were, I think. 70 cents or something or a quarter I just cheap this hammer is 50 cents now the drills all right you guys are ready for this one all right you know how I have my drill press right home utility look at that 200 220 2000 rpms this thing spins a little slow so there might be some issues with it, but the cord is in really good shape. It looks like the cord got replaced at one time. So that's okay. That was five dollars. So this one I'm looking at there next to each other. Ready for this, you guys? Freaking Kmart. Are you joking? Like, I, I gotta research these a little bit more, but we're gonna get into the, these tools. So all together, I put twenty-three dollars for everything. I had to borrow three off of Mrs. CC scraps. But yeah. Um Oh, we got that too, that thing. Oh, yeah. That was $4. $4 and my bench. Oh, we spread. forgot about the bench. Thank we got God a free you. bench from Aziz. <laughs> He's one of the vendors. But yeah, $23. Are you guys kidding me? Anyway, Flea Market Finds, check it out. I hope you enjoyed it. Dirt and Rust, this is probably right up your alley, Scout Crafter. I know you're going to, Big Vic and all y'all out there, Tom Gunn, Magdad, you guys are all going to appreciate these. All right, I hope you'll enjoy. Have a great weekend and Monday morning. Back to work. CC Scraps. Peace, y'all.